Hey guys, Dr. Pelto here. I'm really excited about uh, something that we figured out today. I was recently on a, uh, a coaching call with, with my coach that's helped me, Lorcan, and he recommended doing kind of an automated reminder. And I really struggled. Last year, I tried to do this with, um, with Athena, which is my medical record, and I couldn't figure it out. Basically, uh, the whole goal is I wanted to see someone that I saw 365 days ago, and I wanted to send just those people... Uh, a message to kind of reactivate them if they didn't have an appointment. And I finally figured out how to do it in Athena. I'd like to share this with you. Um, when I did it the first time, it sent out like 10,000 messages every day and it just didn't work. And I was frustrated, but this time I spent about two hours online with Athena to get help with this. And uh, let me show you my screen. Okay, uh, here it is over here. So you can see my screen here uh, on, on Athena and um, here uh, basically it is and it's a one-year follow-up reminder and the whole thought is once i do it for a year then i'll do it for two years and three years does that make sense and you can do it six months if you want uh and the way you do this and i'll just teach it to you i will kind of walk you through kind of the setup in your athena uh, medical record so you you can click the the edit button to get it going and then it's going to pull up kind of all of my template to do this you can see it's going to be sending sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday okay so let's go back to the beginning and how to do this uh, this is the campaign type and there's different types of campaigns this is called a custom campaign and it's automated and i call it a one-year follow-up reminder okay if you continue on in this it's going to go to kind of the next step the next step are the patient filters. This is where it gets tricky and this is where I messed up last year, okay? So um, I, had, I was spending like a couple of hours online with them. Good thing we had a snow day here in Massachusetts. So the patient's deceased, yes or no. So only show patients without a deceased. You don't wanna send these to dead people, okay? Second, patient's last seen, include the date range. It's custom. 365 days and 364 days. So basically it's that one day period that they're gonna send uh, patients this message. Patient next appointment, yes or no. So they don't have an appointment. If they have an appointment, it won't send it to them. And then we're only gonna do our active patients. So you don't have to get rid of the, the inactive ones, okay? So I'm not sure about this active. I might change this in the future, but that's how we have it set up right now, okay? So basically those are our criteria for what we're gonna do. I removed phone call because I'm sending this out on Saturday and Sunday as well, because what, I don't know, like maybe Sunday would be on a Monday last year. I'm doing it via email. I'm not doing it through the portal because no one can log into their portals. I'm sending it via email and a text message. So here is my email. According to our records, we have not seen you in the office in the last year. If you have any current foot or ankle issues, let us know. Sincerely, Central Massachusetts Podiatry. Here's our website and here's the phone number to make an appointment. The, the, the area down here is the text message template. Hi, first name, okay. Um, this actually pulls in first name automatically, so you don't have to do that. Uh, so it'll say Donald or something like that. Donald, uh, hi Donald, Central Mass Podiatry here. We haven't seen you in a while. Do you have any foot or ankle issues? Call us for an appointment. I did call because of the, uh, Athena doesn't allow you to text message. If you do a text back, it gives an error message. I haven't figured out a workaround. And I consider doing a text to answer. The issue is with that, we, we have HIPAA, HIPAA compliant texting, but when you click the texting on your phone, it goes to this like call option and I don't think patients would really know how to text. I could figure it out, maybe you could, but a lot of them couldn't. So as we continue on, uh, what you do before you set this up is you preview it and I do it weekly, basically because Saturday and Sunday might've been a Monday or Tuesday. It does it between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. and the start date is tomorrow. Now this is the cool part. Last time I did this, I had like 5,000 or 10, I did one earlier today and it had 10,000 people on it. And it actually calculates how many people, the estimated recipients right here. And these are the, the estimated people that are gonna get it. So as it calculates, based on last year, we there was 25 people that fit into that criteria that haven't been seen in the last year and uh, that. So this is gonna be sent into perpetuity forever. This is like the best Athena thing that I figured out, I think ever. And I hope you can use it. Um, and basically what I do is I do 
save and send and it, and it does it for you. So I hope it helps you. If you have any other questions, let me know. Underneath this video, I, I do have some other videos and some uh, information. If you want my templates for Athena, it'll be underneath there. Uh, also, if you want to learn about practice management, go to Podiatry Practice Mastery. I'll put a link underneath the video as well. Okay, great. Thank you.